What is up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. As you can see here, we have this 2015 or 2016 WX behind me. We are gonna be starting to build this car on my YouTube channel. You guys may have seen this car on the channel before. This is actually my brother Cameron's car. If you don't know who Cameron is, Cameron is my brother. He's also a YouTuber. About six months ago, maybe seven months ago, he was diagnosed with leukemia, which is a form of cancer. He has been in the hospital, like in and out for about six months now, going through chemotherapy, going through all the treatment for cancer. He just went back in the hospital yesterday for his very last chemotherapy treatment so I figured as a little surprise a little gift for him when he gets to the hospital we myself and Bobby what's up guys we are gonna be doing some nice tasteful mods on his WRX he's always wanted to do this but obviously like going through cancer going through chemo like the chemo especially it completely messes you up like that's the easiest way to put it he's been through a lot of shit in these last six months so I figured I'd take it into my own hands well, I figured I'd take it into my own hands and build the car myself, like how I would kind of build a car, I guess. So if you have a 2015 or newer WRX, you can kind of follow along, or I guess any car in the world. There was so many very, very helpful sponsors that stepped in to help with this build. You guys will see all the sponsors as these videos progress. Expect videos like every single day for the next week, all pertaining to this 2016 Subaru WRX. Is there anything you'd like to say? I'm just excited. I'm excited to see the end result and then to see Cameron's reaction. One more quick thing before we start working on this car. Cameron has no clue that we're doing doing this to his car as long as Bobby didn't tell him. Did he tell him? Definitely not. I dropped him off yesterday in this car to the hospital. I'll be picking him up in this car when he gets out of the hospital. So I'm gonna kind of like drive up, you know, have Bobby recording from somewhere else and see his reaction. And it should be absolutely amazing. Yeah, the car's all stock right now. It's gonna look really good guys. Trust me, it's gonna look good. Let's get to work. All right guys, so the very first thing we are gonna do on this car is a nice set of fog lights. As you can see, I think stock, the premium have fog lights and the base, I think this is the base model, they don't have fog lights. So I figured for this little reveal video or whatever, we're just gonna do a, a nice simple install and throw in a set of Winjet fog lights. Oh. These fog lights are made by Winjet. If you wanna pick these up, I'll have them linked down in the description box below. They fit a 2015 to 2016 Subaru WRX and I'm guessing an STI and maybe even in present as well. But let's go ahead, open these bad boys up. They came with LED bulbs and with all the wiring and everything. So there should be a pretty straightforward install. Should we get it? Should we get it? Let's do it. Included in this kit is the fog light switches, the wiring, the fog light bezels, and the fog lights themselves, along with instruction sheet. The wiring kind of looks like a pain. Check this out. It looks like we have two wires that go to the fog lights, one to a relay, to fuse, positive, ground. I think this might be really similar to the FRS fog lights I installed. I guess let's jump into it. I hope I don't have to remove the bumper on this car. That sounds like a pain in the butt. He doesn't even run a front plate. I know. How does he get away with that? Because his car is stock. Oh. If you have a stock car, they don't care if you don't run license plates, but if you're modded like me, they, they get you for everything. So I think the first thing we are going to do is try to figure out this wiring. Cause wiring, nobody likes to do wiring, right? Just, we hate wiring. Exactly. I freaking hate wiring. It's not fun at all. These are for that. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? This car may come pre-wired. I'm actually gonna check that real quick before I start rewiring the whole freaking front end and wiring and switches. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop off these little bezels right here. Hey, FedEx. For real? Mm -hmm. FedEx? Mm-hmm. Wait. Run. <laughs> Not the package I was expecting. That one is way too small. To pop off these little covers, I think they just unclipped. Oh, I'm so worn out from that run. I think these things are just clipped in, so I'm gonna use this little plastic popper guy. And, popper guy? Yeah, popper guy, and try to pop them out without marring his paint. Marring? There we go. Oh yeah, that's easy. Quite the long neck you got there. Long neck? <laughs> so a lot of cars come pre-wired, like from the factory say, a base model does not have fog lights, a premium does. I thought this car may be pre-wired, so all we'd have to do is like plug in the switch and the fog lights, but it's not, unfortunately. So we have to do all this fun stuff. It shouldn't be too bad, honestly. I'll kind of lay it out here on the table for you guys, actually. That plugs into fog light. It might help me out a little bit too, because this looks freaking confusing to me. That is gonna run all the way to the other side of the bumper, plug into that fog light. This is gonna go to like the inside of the car and plug in right there. There's a little male to female adapter. That has a ground, can you see? Mm -hmm. This right here would be the ground on the interior. 
This is the positive on the interior. And this guy right here is gonna plug into one of our fog light switches. They sent us two for some reason. I'm guessing it's different car to car. So they sent us two just to be sure. So that's all that. And then we come to the other side. We have this relay right here, which can go anywhere. You can screw that on wherever you find. And then this red wire right here is the positive. So that is gonna have to go. I'm probably gonna connect this directly to the battery. Simple enough, not really, kind of a pain. Let's get to work. To make this job a little more simple, I'm, I decided to go ahead and pull off the bumper. Uh, if I can figure out how. Ooh, somebody has a dirty engine Oh babe. my gosh, Cameron. Cameron, Nimala. Dear brother, what have we here? What have we here? <laughs> this is disgusting. For real, that is gnarly. I might clean that shit before I bring it back. Oh, I know, that's the seventh favorite part. So there's, a, it looks like there's a bunch of clips up here. There's gonna be some clips on the bottom, clips on the corner. Let's go ahead and rip this bumper off, boys. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Look at this parts pile we have for this car. Big, big names too. We got Grim Sweet, freaking Continental, Enki, Swift. I'm not even gonna start naming them all because I'm gonna forget half of them. Even back there. Yeah, all back there. We have yeah. so, we have so many parts for this car, boys. And I'm so pumped to Maybe. be. What? Maybe there's a few girls watching your channel. Doubt it. But like I was saying before, Bobby interrupted me. I'm so pumped to like be doing this because it's fun. I like building cars and it's like... For your brother. For my brother. You can't get much better than this. And I gotta do it with Bobby too. This is kind of nice working on a new car. You know why? Why? It's like kind of clean. And this is actually the first car build I'm ever doing that is all like new parts. Really? I'm using a freaking bum and just find new stuff. Oh yeah. I mean really, I'm cheap. True. I mean, I do buy a lot of stuff new, but this is everything's new on this car. All right, we got like the 38.9 million clips off. Let's see if this bumper comes off. It freaking better. I don't think this bumper's ever been taken off in its life. Whoa. All right, got that off. And now there is two little wiring connectors on the back side connected to the bumper for the blinkers. Pull those off and the bumper comes off. Simple. I did not hurt my finger. It's just this little boy right here. So right now we're just getting all this wiring up front done. It's really simple. There was one wire I connected already. I put the ground right here on the bumper beam support. The red wire is gonna go to the battery and then just do some wiring inside and we're pretty much done. The bumper was kind of a pain to take off though. I'm gonna lie. You're making it look clean? Hell yeah, always. Nice clean. I'll cut all those when I'm done. Gotta have this wire pop out. There's this yellow wire that has to run into the inside of the car. What I did is grab a long clothes hanger, a metal one, bend it straight, put it through the firewall. There's a little rubber plug you punch out. I put that through the firewall, the clothes hanger, and I'm just electrical taping this yellow wire that has to go onto the inside of the car to that clothes hanger. And then I'll pull the clothes hanger back through the firewall. And that hopefully, as long as this wire doesn't fall off, we'll pull the wire through the firewall. That's the easiest way I've ever found to do it. Let's hope it works. Cause other than that, it's a pain. You can't see the plug at all from the engine bay. So this is the only way to do it. There it goes. I got that wire to come through. That actually was pretty freaking simple. Next up is I'm gonna have to pull this whole, I guess you call it a kick panel. I'm gonna have to pull the kick panel off and get all the wiring done in here and then install a switch and we should be done with today's install. Was that pretty snazzy of me to pull that through? Mm -hmm. To get this kick panel off, there's a screw right down here. And then probably more screws somewhere that I can't see. And then there's this little side panel you gotta clip off. There's a screw under there. And then other than that, she just pops on off here. Wow, look at there. So we gotta do some wiring under here. I'll figure it out and I'll update you guys on what I do because I have no clue what I'm doing, <laughs> to be honest. So I figured out which wire I'm gonna be tapping into. This is little dial right here. I, I wanna say it's the interior dimmer switch, but I don't know. It's the only dial over here. And there's a purple wire coming off that. So I'm gonna use this little tapper guy, I guess you could call her, and tap right into this wire with this red wire right here coming off the harness. I have the black one grounded to the only 10 millimeter nut in sight. Yeah, I'm gonna tap this in real quick, connect the power wire to the battery and see if the fog lights work. And then I'll just tuck everything up and we can see how nice these fog lights are when they're all LED. All right, so I got everything wired up under here. Red wire right here goes to this purple wire that is on this little dial. Simple as that. Black wire goes to this ground up here, or the little 10 millimeter nut. You can literally ground that wherever. And then the green wire is plugged into the fog light switch right here. So let's give her a shot. I wired it. If you use that purple wire, 
you to use the fog lights you have to have this on one click so as you can see as soon as you click it on once this um freaking fog light switch lights up so let's turn that on and see if our fog lights work watch them not work grab a foggy and ta-da she's gonna work fine yeah! Ooh. okay you want to go turn it off hit that little switch sure click it oh we're good perfect look at that wired up just how just how they should be wired minty fresh we have one more step actually this guy is just i just had it sitting on the battery so if you connect it right here that is not through a fuse as you can see whoever wired that has a fuse but there's a little fuse in there so i'm gonna run this wire to the fused post so the 10 millimeter connect that on done we have to bolt these things onto the bumper and then we can put these covers on so they sent us four little screws and clips on this fog light it says dot sae whatever that freaking means i don't know um that is going to be at the top so yeah let's go screw these bitches on okay we got to put this little clip onto the fog light if i can i might have to bend it a little bit to flathead i'll just bend it with that guy so we got those two little they're, i think they're called speed nuts they're just little clips onto the fog light and then if you come down here we're gonna put it in like that so the inside of the fog light is just clipped in and the outside is screwed on through the bumper there's little holes with these two with two of these four screws right here it's all there is guys it's freaking so simple to do on this car the screws that they supplied were way the healthy short so i actually just zip tied the fog light on and it's plenty steady next up is this little bezel the fog light bezel do you want to put it on no okay it just clips on just like the old one fog lights are done oh nice um let's throw the bumper on connect the wiring and see if they work like they should it's crazy like the smallest things give it the give it more oomph moment of truth on no yeah. on yay Both on? yep how mint do they look so the way i wired these they're fully independent meaning you can run them like that with just that little freaking yellow ugly bulb <laughs> or you can run them with the low beams and high beams but as soon as you turn the ignition switch all the way off or the headlight sock all the way off the fog lights are going to turn off with it so i like fully independent fog lights it might be illegal in some states but other states you should be good to go all right guys if you want to pick up this exact fog light set made by winjet i'll have a link down below they're about 70 dollars, 60 to 70 dollars for the full kit versus like 300 for oem and as you can see i was actually pretty impressed with the quality of everything everything fit really really nice so I'll have a link down below. What else do I have to say for this build? Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's lots more to come. There's a ton more to come. There's like 10 more videos to come of this car or maybe nine. Either way, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are stoked for this build like I am, go down below and comment hashtag Cam Strong. That's kind of Cameron's little slogan as he's going through cancer and all the BS with along with cancer. Uh, key metal that is Cam Strong. He's been selling those stickers, those shirts. So go down below, comment hashtag Cam Strong. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.